As an existing Canvas user, and as we dive deeper into the idea of pages, I think this is something that has been underutilized by many of us in our Canvas courses. Pages are a way where you can organize information so that your modules don't become a long list of links and different pages that they have to go to, but rather can be embedded within your module. These can be educational resources that are now organized on a page. In pages, we simply want to put information that is meant to be dispersed, going one way from us as a teacher to the students. This is different from an assignment where we then have the ability to collect student works, and then it will add a column in our gradebook. If you want something that is not graded and not in the gradebook, you should create a page. This video will explain how you can do all of that and do a much better job of using all the tools in the content-rich editor on a page. And as we look at different pages, you can embed different YouTube videos, have links to various resources like notes, sheets, or Quizlet terms, or you can easily also have very short within your module, uh, a task that you would like them to do, but doesn't require them to hand anything in. In this case, we embedded a YouTube video and asked them to watch this. Here's another example where we have an embedded slides presentation right on the page for students to click through without having to open it, and as well as an embedded PDF at the bottom of the page so students can get all that information in one spot. Now, typically when we've started a page, we've started right from a module and gone in and added a page. Now, instead of uh, adding all this information separately to our module, we could maybe have an overview page for a specific assignment or unit. We've now added the text to our page. We have a learning target. We also have some text which tells them what to do. In this case, we've also linked by selecting the words and going up to link to an external page. In this case, it's a graphic organizer that will open up in a Google document. Now, the next thing we want to do is embed a YouTube video. Now, how do you do that? Now, the first thing you need to do is find the YouTube video that you want to use. So I already have this here. What you're going to do is once you find your YouTube video, you're going to click the share icon. And while you might want to grab the link, you actually want to grab the embed code here. It will display nicer on your page. Over here, if you just simply click, it already selects all of it. And again, you can either right click and copy or use a shortcut key to copy. You're going to then take this back to your page. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the media icon and where it says upload record media. Over here, you can either upload a video directly from your computer. You can record your own video directly from there if you just wanna speak some directions to students. But in this case, we wanna embed our YouTube video. I'm just going to paste that code here then and hit submit and it will create this video embedded nicely on our page. Let's say I also wanted to embed a Google Slides presentation or document into my page. I can then, let's say I wanted this to go before my video and create a little space here. Um, and you're gonna click on this little plug looking icon, which is the apps icon. This allows us to pull information from our Google apps, in this case, our Google Drive. I'm gonna double click on that. And then I can either look through my Google Drive to find the document if I know where it's saved, or I could just pull it um, by searching for it. I'm going to click on the activity, the lens activity, gives a little check mark, and then I have the option to make a link, or in this case, I would prefer to embed it so students can see it directly on the page. It is going to drop it in there for me. Not quite where I wanted it, so I'm just going to hit an enter sign here so it goes in the right spot. So now I have an embedded slides presentation that they can click through. That's right here, right? I'm talking about lenses and then going into the world religion video. And again, you can add more information to your page. And when you are done, you can hit save and publish. Maybe that you already create a Google Doc with your schedule for your class. Something that you could do is embed this on a page. Then when you update it on Google Drive, it will automatically update on your page instead of you updating the page if it's just text. And so again, working smarter, not harder. And so as you do this again, what you're going to do on our blank page here, I'm going to go back to that apps icon over here and to pull something from my Google Drive. I find my Unit 1 Modern Schedule, I'm going to embed that into my page. And now you'll see this Google Doc. And something that I do in my class when we are face-to-face -face is I have linked what we did in class in one column and what their homework is in for the other in this AP class. 
And one final diving deeper tip is for any of you that want to send out maybe a graphic organizer like this to your students and just want them to have a copy of it. As you are looking here, if you want to click the share within your Google Doc, I'll notice that this is restricted right now. And I'm going to click this to change it, not just to anyone at AASD, but anyone with the link then can just view this. Uh, once you are up here then on the URL, if you kind of scroll all the way to the right where it says edit, if I just type in the word copy and then copy this entire link right here, I am going to bring that back to Canvas and I'm going to replace this graphic organizer place right here with this link. What that's going to do is I paste this one. I will show you as I hit save here. It is going to auto make a copy of this for students so they don't have to auto make a copy when they open your file. When they click graphic organizer, it'll say, do you want to make a copy of this? And then they will have this saved in their Google Drive for them to fill out. So just a few other tips if you want to go deeper as we are looking at using pages, lots of things that you can do. I hope you found this useful and ask your tech coach for any questions if you want to know more about using pages.